Hey guys, one step I do in order to measure the length of the tubing, and it makes life just a lot easier when cutting out the tubing, is I try to find the, the absolute length right on the table. And how I do that is I already have my center lines marked, so that's a no-brainer. The blocks, we talked about that, that's already put in. So I know that the inside tubing is half inch, so this is half inch wide. I can set this right up against the block, I can slide it down, okay, and I just take a pen, mark it, take the long rounds, long rounds are 5 eighths, so you got to hold it to one side, mark it, push it to the next side, mark it, you don't need to do the outside, but visually this kind of helps see it, okay, and you can see where this outside tube now goes, see where it touches the pipe, that pipe will never be longer than that, it's guaranteed, that is the actual length, okay, so if you were to draw a dotted line, Okay, that's where that would be measured from. I'm going to pick up this camera. Same thing over here. <clears throat> I drew this out, and you can see this line comes down. It touches the longer on right there. So I can draw a dotted line. Okay, you don't need to actually draw it. This is just more for the video. So I can literally now judge my length. Hold the tape right on it. Put your finger. It is 26 and a quarter. I'm sorry, 26 and an eighth. I just go ahead and cut it. And I cut my I cut all my tubing is square to start out with. That's always how I do it. So that's the length. Nothing will change. That table's laid out. It's guaranteed to work. That is the length. If you, I tell you what, what I'm going to do is move this camera down to see if this makes it a little easier to understand. I'll try to adjust it. So it goes to here, but how does that pipe lay in? See, if you were to draw it, once you culp that edge, okay, it kind of look like this. Right? So you can see, once that's laid in, and here's this one here, see? Kind of draw it. This one here would fit kind of funky in here, but you know, I have I have a tendency to put these in first, and the way I fit them is everybody has a method. Some people put these angle ones in first, then line this one up first. You're gonna have to make that decision for yourself, but sometimes it's just easier to cut this like this trim this one after. It, dep it depends on where you are in the fuselage. Regardless, that is how you, got that, you get that length. Once you have that, write the length down. 26 and an eighth. This number over here was just way early in the game. I was just trying to make sure I had enough tubing. so, And I had 15 footers and it, it did work out. So that, that's pretty cool. But that's the actual length. That's what I'm going to cut. I'm going to go around, boom, 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 get them all done. Once I have that done, I can, I can, now I can take this angle with an angle finder. I can grind the angle. Boom. See? It just makes life easy, and I'll show you how I grind those and cope it. But that's that. Once this is done, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to lay these longer ons in, and I'm going to go to the tail, and that, that my first cut is going to be the tail.